In question two of this series, we'll focus specifically on RC circuits. And we're asked, a fully charged capacitor is discharged by throwing the switch from position one to position two, take a look, at time is equal to zero. Write an expression for the voltage across the capacitor and the current I. Let's start with question A. In order to be successful here, you'll need to know Kirchhoff's laws, specifically the law that states that the voltage across the resistor at any instant must be equal to the voltage across the capacitor, but of opposite sign. So let's write that down. The voltage across a resistor, the voltage here, must be equal to the voltage across the capacitor, which I'll represent as VC. And they must be opposite signs, so you can put the negative on either of these terms. I'll just place it right here. Another law that we need to consider before answering this question is Ohm's law for a capacitor, which states that the instantaneous current through the resistor must be equal to the current, which is represented mathematically, in the capacitor. So we have to somehow combine this with this, and it's not that hard to do. In fact, if we represent V subscript R as, using Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, I can solve for I, where I end up with V over R is equal to I. V over R, which I'll replace with this, is equal to, therefore, the capacitance, which is in farads, times dV over dt, the rate of change of voltage with respect to time. So we have C times dV over dt. We have successfully combined both of these laws, and now we're ready to find the answer to question A. As you can tell, this is a differential equation. So what I have to do is separate the terms where I have the V terms on one side and the T terms on the other side. It's going to require a few steps, so let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is divide both sides by dV. Take a look at what I mean. I'll divide the right side by dV. This cancels out this dV. And on the left side, I have negative V over R times dV. Negative V over R times dV is equal to C over dT. Next, what I want to do is clear out this R from the left side. And I can do that by multiplying the whole equation by R. Look what happens. This R goes away. And now what we have are two sides where dV and dT are in the denominator position we need to make them be in the numerator position. And the way we can do that is we can reciprocate both sides. Take a look. We'll have dV at the top, and at the bottom we have negative V. And over here we'll have dT at the top and CR at the bottom. I'll multiply both sides by negative as well. I don't want the negative at the front, just for preference. Multiplying both sides by negative 1, this goes away, and the term on the right side gets the negative value. Now I have to integrate both sides. And if I integrate the left side, I'll end up with ln absolute of V is equal to, and on the right side, you see this negative one over CR? Those are all constants, pull them out. So I'm gonna pull that out outside of the integral where I end up with negative one over CR. And now I get to integrate DT, which is simply T plus my constant. Make sure you don't use C here because C might be confused with capacitance. Use the letter K. Next, I'll set T is equal to zero because that was given in the question. If I set T is equal to zero, this term becomes zero and we're left with ln absolute of V is equal to K. Now pay attention to this part, it's important. At T is equal to zero, the voltage across the capacitor is the battery voltage E. Therefore, we can say that K is equal to ln E. Now, in case that doesn't make sense to you, let's pretend that I raised both the left and the right side as powers of base E, this side and this side. This E and this ln will cancel each other out where we end up with V is equal to E to the power of K, our constant. V here, as I just mentioned, is equal to E at time zero. So replacing this with big E, we end up with big E is equal to little e to the power of K. Lawning both sides, you end up with the following expression. 
So that being said, I'll write down ln absolute of v is equal to negative 1 over CRT plus ln E. I'll bring this term over to the left side where I can next combine the lons, giving me ln absolute of v minus ln big E is equal to negative 1 over CR times T. Given that our voltage can't be negative, I can drop these absolutes, which I'll do next. Having dropped those absolutes, I can now combine the V and the big E together by putting them as a quotient, where we have ln little v over big E is equal to negative T over CR. And recall that ln is log E. Log E V over E is equal to negative t over cr. Changing this into exponential form, where I have e to the power of negative t over cr is equal to v over big E. And this simplifies to the voltage across a discharging capacitor formula for this circuit, which is big E times little e to the power of negative t over cr is equal to little v. That right there represents the answer to part A. In part B, we are asked to write an expression for the current I. Now this is not hard to do. We'll continue to build on what we have. In fact, we get the current through the resistor by dividing the voltage V by R. So I'll replace this V with Ohm's law for voltage, which is the instantaneous current times the resistance. And dividing both sides by R, we have gotten an expression for the current. This right here represents the current in a discharging capacitor formula. And there you have it. That is how to use differential equations with RC circuits.